What is up, Terrarians and current crate members? Welcome back to another episode of Thorium Bard. Today, we're going to take over an even bigger pushover, the Lunatic Cultist. We, do we think that he is actually easier than Golem? Yes, 100%. I think the Lunatic Cultist is such an easy fly around flight, no big deal. But then, then we're taking on the Moon Lord. And is there a Bard weapon, like the Celestial weapons? I don't know. I'm sure it's amazing. I'm sure it's freaking awesome. We did end up firing for the Siren's Liar because there is a weapon that you can make from this weapon using the Ancient Manipulator. So I definitely want to make that. I also want to take a quick look at our... Hey, that's, this is exactly what I was looking for. The Life Form Analyzer. This should help us with our, um, our Truffle Worm farming if we do need to end up doing more. We already have five, and as you can see, we have four treasure bags. So hopefully we get the wings out of these. Oh my gosh. No. Please, give me the wings. Please, just one wing. Oh. Oh my gosh. Four of them, and not a single one. That's got to hurt. At least we got a fabled one of these, so we didn't even have to reforge it. That's awesome. But this is so sad. Is it worth it? I honestly don't know. I, I can't believe... We just, oh my gosh, my heart. I just don't want to fight that anymore. I don't want to fight Duke Fishron. Do we do it again real quick? Or, let? what if we beat the Lunatic Cultist and got the wings later? What if that was a thing? Because I really don't care <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we do have five more wings though. Uh, let me see, is there anything we can make with the... Oh wait, we already had a life form analyzer. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's put all this away and see if there's anything we can make with the cell phone. Um, what is it? Wreck? Or no, it's uh, 3,000. You, you have to do like R dot. So we can't make the wreck 3,000. What are we missing? We're missing a radar, really. I'm sure we could buy that. Um, then what's the other one? Oh, what do you use to make in the PDA? I can't think of it. Goblin tech? Goblin? Hey, you can make the goblin tech. I'm, ha I'm about that amazing then can we make the uh is it the gps oh what were we missing for the gps oh we literally have three death meters and not a single compass can we buy these from the tinkerer hey get over here wow i dashed pretty far i didn't realize that nope th there it is movement miscellaneous mm, nope doesn't look like we can i mean it wouldn't be in combat would it no, it's not. Okay. Shoot! Alright, well, we'll just go get that back. I thought maybe we would make pieces of the PDA, make it easy for us, but that is not the case, and I'm not going to worry about it. So what do we want back from that? We want our clock, or our watch. Let's grab our gold watch. And then, sorry, I totally like went off a tangent because I saw everything, and I was like, oh yeah, we can do this now. Nope, still can't. So that's we gotta keep that in mind. I don't think we'll need this anymore. So I'm gonna just put that away. Is there anything else that we need or want? I don't think so. I think we can just go fight the lunatic cultist. Because we don't even need that much of an arena. Alright. So we ended up farming Duke Fish on. You know what? And I was like, I was thinking about it. It would help a lot. And we just need to man up. And before I forget, we got the Duke Fishron trophy. But we also got our little bone jump it in an item frame. Finfi, if you're watching, I remembered. You're welcome. We did it. I'm glad we got it done. This is a, a nice moment. A nice memento and moment. I just combined those words. My moment. You're welcome. Uh, for the channel. I mean, for the for Thorium. Look at that. Our first Thorium playthrough. And it's Bard. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And no wings yet. And another one. Oh my. Okay. All right. I'm freaking out here. We got one more. We got to make room for these other ones. We keep getting these. Oh, wait. That's Aaron's. Oh, wait. Hang on. That's a dev set. I thought that was the, uh, what is that? A random armor set that you get from this for a healer? Nah, not about that. Let me get rid of all this. All right. The last one. Terraria slots has been completed. Dang it. We did get another dev set, but come on. So we'll buff up. We'll wait for our full HP. And look at that. Where are you going to be? Where are you going to go? I think our... Uh, Carnix? What is this? 
Oh my gosh, we're cranking damage on this dude. I do like the distance that we can get with the homing one. So I might just use that. But I don't I'm not really too sure. Oh, shoot, hang on. There it is. Ooh. I hate accidentally hitting the wrong one. And I think in Calamity Revengeance mode, you always hit the wrong one. Like that's just like part of the the fight. Which is just like the worst thing ever. Who who loves doing that? Not me. What are you doing here? Oh, I forgot about that phase. But yeah, look at that. Easy, big, no problem. Push over. Who's that? I don't know. And Lunatic Cultist is almost up. And then, I don't really know our plan for the, uh, the, what's it called? Oh, wait, he gets a treasure bag? Oh, shoot. That's sick. An Ancient Light. That is awesome. What? That is crazy. All right, we're going to try to do, 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 I don't know what that was. We're going to try to do the Nebula Pillar right now. I don't really know what the plan is for these pillars. I don't personally like doing the pillars. I don't personally like showing the pillars. I think they're kind of boring. So maybe we'll just skip them. Maybe we'll kind of talk through it. I don't really know. I did want to mention, remember how uh, in the last video, if it was the last video or the video prior, I had mentioned I wanted to get back into BRs or like play a little bit of BRs, not really get back into it, but like kind of just as a chill game, play a BR. And uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, Apex is now on Steam, which is just so much better. Anyone else like using Origin? Because I don't. I prefer Steam on every game. If it's on Steam, I'll probably get it. If it's not on Steam, you know, like I'm, I had to like go through a lot of like self-checking to like how badly do I want this game? Because it's just Steam is just the best. Like for a marketplace, for a, a platform to house your video games. Maybe I'm just partial because it's like really the only thing I knew growing up, but I just think they do it the best. And I think like Origin, uh, what's another one? Oh, what's the one for Assassin's Creed? You play? Ah, oh, you play's the worst. <laughs> I love Assassin's Creed, but you play? It almost makes it not worth it, not playing the game. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, how annoying is this, by the way? Is it pretty annoying that like I'm just like using the trumpet this entire time like this? I hope it's not, but it probably is. Okay, I want to place this. Okay, it's not going to happen. Yep, I knew that. All right, well, we got halfway with that pillar. I think I'm just going to finish that pillar and then show it the end of it. That's all right with you guys. All right, so that's the end of the Nebula pillar. We just got to actually kill it here. And nothing is better than Duke's Regal. Is it, is it Carnix? Is that how you say it? I honestly have no idea. Oh, and we never made terrarium cores or anything. Oh, shoot. We got to make sure that we do that. I don't think we picked up a single fragment over there, which is unfortunate. So we have to go buy another dungeon potion. But so what does that mean? So we have to uh, we have to do all that because there's a lot of upgrades we can make. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot about that. Um, I might. Ooh, how do I want to go about that? Let me, oh my gosh, you sell for so much. Holy moly. That sold for 26 gold. Oh. Wow, that's actually, oh, that's like the, uh, the new 1.4.1 weapon that you get from the princess. The, the tenant, the, I don't, the regal tenant. I don't honestly remember. Uh, but yeah, that looks dope. That is amazing. Okay, and then these, those fragments give us something as well. So let's take a peek at this. Oh, I'm glad that we had enough room. Um, let me sell some of the stuff that we don't need. 18 gold, gone. 16, 16, what does the Ancient Frost do? <laughs> These mage weapons are out of this world. We need to do a Thorium Mage. Holy moly. All right. Now let's, uh, let's go ahead and stack our monies away. Quick stack you. Um, we need to place our ancient manipulator. What do, uh, I guess we can get rid of our um, What's this thing? Wait, why do we even have a hellforge here? Wait, have we been missing out? Um, on making a titanium forge or an adamantite forge Hang on titanium 
We do have titanium in this world. We need to go make a titanium forge. Oh my gosh. All right, before we do that, let's take a look at this. So that makes, so that's post moon lord. That makes a bard, um, what's it called? A bard weapon. How many did we get? We got five from that pillar. Only she's the primordials. Okay, so we need two. Wow, we're gonna we we're gonna have to farm, I bet. Shooting star turbo tuba. Lost flight and slow fall. That sounds amazing. So it's got a couple of barred weapons. That also sounds amazing. Holy moly. Okay, alright. Celestial fragment. What can we make out of you? That's healer weapons. Healer class. Okay, nothing else. And then you make is this thrower? Yeah, this would be thrower. Okay, that's awesome that they add like their own thrower thing. That's super cool. I'm sad that we only got five for the bar class and like everything else. Um, can we make these things? Can no, it doesn't look like it. Gosh dang it, that's sad. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a titanium forge and do all that. So I'll be right back. All right, so we got some terrarium cores. Um, I'm thinking we make the canyon splitter, which is a pickaxe. So we'll craft that, make that a lot faster. Oh, and it's 8% speed too. Oh my goodness, incredible. Um, and I was also, oh, solar eclipse. Uh, that's a bummer, uh, we don't need that. And I was also thinking we make this guy. Oh, oh my gosh, why? Why are you the way that you are? Come on, just, Mothron, you're too easy. I'm, I don't care about you. Can I, can I kill you yet? Thank you, perfect, what did we get from you? And then cool broken hero fragment versus oh wait can I just time warp this? Very nice. Oh look at this. Does that is this guy gonna drop the? Oh, I forgot about that guy. Dang it! There's like a specific bard weapon that he drops or something like that. All right, moving forward. And um, we'll bring it back to the daytime. Ah, oh, time warp you're the best. Incredible. So we'll grab that, do that there, do that dang, and then. What are we going to do? Terrarium. Oh, yeah. We need to put away our fire boots. What is... Why? Why were you doing that? Why were you still alive? How are you still alive? Terrarium. All right. So, we got the particle accelerators. <laughs> particle sprinters. How sick would it have been if, if it's called particle accelerator? Hello, the flash. Anyone? No? Okay. All right. Moving forward. We got... Uh, what was the other thing we wanted to do? Oh, we wanted to make the Aegis. Wow, this is incredible. Holy moly, this looks awesome. You see the, the pattern on our, like the, what is this? Where are you running? You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, We need to get the Aegis. Oh, shoot. I thought we had it. Dang it, but we do need to grab this one. And there's like a an Onk Shield upgrade that we want to make. So let's put away this. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong one. There we go. And I wanted to see this one gets upgraded to the Terrarium Defender. We need the Holy Aegis. How do you make the Holy Aegis? You can make the Holy Aegis. Oh, awesome. So we need to buy the Paladin Shield. I figured it was something like that. Uh, we have actually gotten the Paladin Shield, but I sold it a while ago thinking that we weren't going to use it. And it's menacing. Wow. Um, but yeah, so that's good. So now we can make the Holy Aegis. Perfect, and then now we can make the defender. Oh Wow, what an upgrade. What a fantastic upgrade. So it prolongs hit after hit invincibility maximum life increased by 20 grants immunity to most debuffs when ab above 25% life it absorbs 25% of damage done to nearby players on your team. We don't have a team So that doesn't matter when below 25% life you'll rapidly regenerate life and gain increased defense That's what I was looking at that looks amazing and I know we just made beetle wings, but we actually, apparently there's terrarium wings and we need to buy those ones. So we need to buy more souls of flight. How much gold do we still have? We still have 15 plat. I'm not worried about it. So we need to buy 20 of these. We got so much platinum because of the, uh, of all the boss fights with Duke Fishron and the other one, the um, Abyssion. <laughs> I just couldn't believe how many times we had to fight those things. Okay. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong one. Wings. Let me see where are we at. The terrarium wings. Oh, these look baller. While equipped to give a soft rainbow glow. Yep, I'm a, I'm about it. So we'll go ahead and do those ones. 
So let's let's try to do a comparison real quick, actually. So this flies. Oh, I don't have my. Wow. What? All right, we don't even need a comparison. Leaf wings, you were nothing like that. That is incredible. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Is there any other upgrades that we want to make with the terrarium cores? Because oh, we only have four left. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all the upgrades we wanted, anyways. Because as far as I know, I don't really care for the weapon that it has, the um, the bard weapon. And then this thing is actually not that good, because I mean, I mean, what is elementally backlash? Because this gives us 10% symphonic damage, which this does, and gives us 6% increased critical strike chance, and gives our base bat brass instruments piercing damage. So I'm thinking that this is probably way better than this thing. And this, it just doesn't sound like it's homing. And you know me with homing weapons. They're just better. Do we want to give this a shot? Do we want to make this? I think we should probably make it. We are starving for terrarium cores though. So we don't have everything. What are we missing? I think we're actually just missing chlorophyte. So we can actually get that pretty quickly. Do we have a jungle potion on us? We do not. Go back to our tinkerer, our alchemist, our whatever guy. Do this real easy peasy. Oh, we're in the solar event. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> Get me out of here. I forgot we had to make this like long platform. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, the solar event is in the jungle. Good to know. I hope that uh, the giant guy doesn't come after us. Oh, my gosh. That Korite almost destroyed us. Almost just KO'd us. I don't have a Splunker potion on me, which is kind of a bummer. So, I would just have to look for... Come on, kill this guy. <gasps> oh, that was a close one. Alright, we're good now. Let's go ahead and take it easy. I'll be back. Also, so we made the Terrarium. Uh, auto Harp. It's, it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Not that great of a weapon. Just doesn't auto aim, which is uh, a bummer. Wait, does this make? Hang on. Now it's time to quickly home in. I forgot about that. I forgot about the wind instruments being auto-aiming with that specific attachment. Okay, that might be really good. We'll have to try that out. Um, but I wanted to say, we also need to make maestro armor because that's what's recommended in the wiki. So we're going to make this upgrade. I totally forgot about it. But I want to make sure that we're using everything because I don't want to accidentally not use something. So let's go ahead and take a look. We got 55 armor and this does 104 defense or damage. So it does 107 and we have 61. And the set bonus is pressing the armor ability key will summon a, cho a chorus of music playing ghosts. The ghosts rapidly damage nearby enemies with brass, wind, string, and percussion instrument damage. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and try. Oops, what did I just do? Oh, I want that back and do there. There, perfect. So I want to see how this fares with everything else because I mean it doesn't look like it'd be that good but it could be that good. It does give us a lot of uh, enchantments which is pretty awesome. So let's take a, let's take a peek. Where, where is everyone? I mean it just does what our trumpet does but worse you know. Like our trumpet would be way better at that. So let me put that back and then, or maybe these, maybe these enemies are just really strong. No, a trump is just amazing. All right. Um, and then what did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to figure out what the armor key is, <laughs> the armor ability. How do we figure it out? Is it controls? <laughs> Hang on. I might have to do a little, oh wait, it's right here. Set it to that button. Oh, 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 that's the same as our mount button. Shoot, not that one. I sent it to the wrong one. <laughs> how about you? There we go. And it has, how long until I have to wait until I can use it again? I have no idea. But I'm just going to skip through these events so that we can focus on the Moon Lord fight. Because I'm not too worried about these guys. And I, I'll show you guys the ending probably of every pillar. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to skip through this. Alright. Come on, finish up the Vortex Pillar. Gosh, this one's, like, so annoying right now. I don't know why it took so long. 
These bosses just have high health. Like those uh, alien queens. Oh my goodness. Okay, can we sneak around here? Perfect. Yes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna come back. Holy moly! You are overwhelmed with pain. Yeah, you're telling me this. The solo pillars are a pain. <laughs> All right. So we have finally done the the solar pillar. That took forever, but actually, it was probably one of the best solar pillars I have ever done. I've only died twice, I think, maybe only even once. That was truly incredible. I have never done that well in the solar pillar. I just I feel so accomplished. I feel like I wanted to share that with you guys because I think all of you can uh, resonate with me that that is the solar pillar is the worst. But I, I truly only died, like, probably twice at the most. Okay, and then we also have more shooting star fragments. So I want to look at these. Shooting star. So we had 30. Let me see what we need to do to make everything else. So I know this needs the, the luminite bars. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's 30 just for the breastplate and the headpiece. And then, so we need 45 of this just for the armor. Oh my gosh. Can we buy the shooting star fragments? from like this person because that is holy moly that is ridiculous nope and that's that's pretty much it oh my gosh yeah the boss drops and everything that is crazy so we need like we need so many because that takes 18 so what's 45 plus 18 63 and then this takes i'm sure 18 yeah so what is that 81 Oh my, we need 81 of these things, and we had 30. 30. Holy cow. So we'll need to uh, we'll need to farm that out a couple of times, which makes me sad, because I hate farming those out. But it's also in good fun. That'll be for the next episode. We are one pillar away from the Stardust Pillar. Do we want to make our... Oh, wait, I forgot about this thing. What does this thing make? Doesn't this make a, new, a cool weapon now that we have the Ancient Manipulator, the Call of Cthulhu? Oh, we need Abyssal Shadows. I think we can make that, actually. I think we have Abyssal Shadows. So, because we were going to farm this. Yeah, we do. Oh, my gosh. We can actually make this thing. The Call of the Cthulhu. Is that what it's called? I totally forgot about this. Dude, I, I gave me the creeps. That was weird. I didn't like that at all. So, uh, defense 3, life regen 2, damage reduction 2, um, playing, no, no, damage enemies begin harming with other nearby enemies on contact, releases an insane, insanity, bringing melody. Wow. Let's try that on the, uh, on the Stardust Pillar. Otherwise, I think we're done with the preparation. I think we're good. We have all of our buffs. We don't really have a good arena, now that I'm realizing it, for Moon Lord. But let's just, let's just go with the flow. That's a bad idea. We should probably make an arena. <laughs> ah, shoot. We should probably do that before. Oh, look at that. A normal chest mimic. You don't see that very often. We should probably do that before we finish off the last pillar. So I'll be back. All right. This is the last pillar. And then I'm done. Holy moly. I cannot wait to be done with this pillar. I don't know why, but this one was like especially difficult. Like these space invaders are so tanky i want to get the last bit before nice all right i'm out of there nobody's ever gonna look at me again holy moly i hate those guys so what do we get we got 13 of those shooting star fragments gosh dang it i want more we did the uh the little trick where you take them outside of the um like the stardust cells outside of the event all right let me get all the way over here let me go ahead and buff up and man, we got a ton of buffs. Holy moly. And I think, I just think the Cadaver's Cornet is going to be our best bet. We can try some of the other weapons, but I just really think that this is going to be the uh, the best weapon for us. I hope we can do it. I think we can do it. I think everything's going to be great. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, man, it's so eerie. I hate it. Don't be eerie. Why you got to be like this? There it is. So I wanted to try that. Alright, so how, what's our damage looking like here? Maybe... Oh, wow. Our, 
that is doing a ton of damage. Holy moly. Okay, so that's pretty promising. I like that. I like that a lot. Gotta go up here. Gotta go around. Get back over on this way just because we have more uh, platform over here to use. I should have started in the middle. I don't know why I started at the end. I never do that. <laughs> I'm nervous. I haven't fought in Moon Lord in so long. It has been a long time. That is bizarre. All right, we're about to get a laser. Perfect. And we'll go back this end and match the hands. We'll take a healing potion. This is this has turned out to be a pretty pretty great start to this fight. Where's the eye? I think we're about to open up. There it is. Perfect. Let me do damage to the top eye while we're up there. And I think that's going to be... Oh, I almost took a little bit of damage right there. That would have been unfortunate. And I think that's going to be pretty good for us. This is a great start. What do I want to talk about? Hi, guys. <laughs> We're doing Moonlord. You guys expect us to do Moonlord this easily? Or is this like... Uh, it's pretty hard for Bard. I don't really know exactly too much about what Bard's supposed to be doing here. I know you guys always mention that we're supposed to be using like a load of different weapons. But I ended up never never really doing that. I am actually really low HP. Holy moly, I gotta be careful. Oh, that was close. Didn't like that. Not one bit, actually. Alright, we gotta keep our distance as much as possible now. We gotta really wait for that third eye to open up. We gotta oh, we don't have that top eye damage like at all. And that's really unfortunate for us. Alright, so we're back up to like, we were back up to 400 HP, then we took a bunch of damage there, not okay. Uh, let me see, how are we doing up here? Oh shoot, okay, we're doing great. We have 58 seconds on another heal, why do those clouds have to be there, you know? Alright, I think we're about to get another laser somewhere from the other eyeball. You know what I mean? I have no idea where that would be. We kind of just have to keep our distance. I think as long as we keep our distance during this phase where... Oh, that scared me. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Like, during the phase where he's just, like, waiting for that third eye to open up, we just gotta get a lot of running distance away. So we'll just keep dashing away. I think his eye's about to open up. Nope. Holy moly. Oh, it is about to open up. Shoot. I think we're... Oh, ho, ho, ho. We were almost out of our, uh, we were out of our flight time, and we almost ran into both those lasers. Thank goodness for quick, quick movements with the Rada Discord. Rada Discord is just like, it's so necessary in some of these playthroughs, it's kind of crazy to me how good the Rada Discord is. Alright, this third eye is taking a long time. Oh, dang it. Okay, I didn't mean to get hit by that. We're back at the 540 HP, though. This is going extremely well. I just needed to relearn the, the patterns of Moonlord, and then I'd, I knew I'd be doing fine. Okay, so that's back up. I think if we get some of that damage out... Alright, that was a lot of damage. That was good. We took a lot of damage, but that was also a lot of damage done. I'm... Oh, I clicked out a Terraria there. Oh, no. Uh, let me let me get back up here. I saw that the, um, the health bar opened back up. Yeah, I didn't realize that the first time. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay, so we, we know when the health or when the eyeball is going to pop back up because the health bar will pop back up. So that's good. Now we just need to dodge. Man, I'm, I'm excited to see the Primordials because we have fought the Primordials before, but aren't they different now? And haven't they... Uh... Okay, there's the core. Nice. We got the core open. That's super awesome. So I'm pretty sure once we get this leveled, we can actually just use the, the Duke Fishon weapon. Um, is there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be just like that. Oh my gosh, we're cranking the core. Look at that. The core is not, not setting a chance. Yeah, but uh, didn't they change the primordials? So I don't really know what to expect from that fight. This is where Moonlord just starts to get easy. This is like... Easy peasy, just need to keep our distance, make sure we're not getting too far away, make sure that we can still do everything that we need to. I just realized, so we have 43 of those fragments, and we're not going to be able to make the armor set, so that means we're going to have to do this all over again to get the armor set that we need for Bard. 
That's pretty sad. I don't like that. Wow, it crossed like that? That's kind of crazy. I didn't think those, those eyeballs would reach us. I'm sad that we reached the end of it over there. Because we were we were in a really good spot. Uh oh, look at us. Now we're now we're taking loads of damage. We have 40 seconds left on a heal. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm not talking too much because now I'm like a little bit nervous that we might lose this. Because all of a sudden we took a lot of damage and we're waiting on a on a health potion. But no, I think we got this in the bag. Yeah, that's easy peasy. Boom! It's done. There were just so many enemies that were popping up. It's been raining for so long. Like, can these clouds get out of the way? And now it's nighttime, so we need to make that morning time. Boom! Moon Lord, get out of here! Come on, bard weapon. Yes! We got the bard weapon. Is it homing? What is this? Very fast speed. Left click to unleash a barrage of sound pulses. Right click to send out a hypersonic wave. Dealing damage shields your life by 5 up to 25. Oh, wow. So, oh, that's pretty short though. I could see this being really good. Same same reason why the um, the Duke Fisher on weapon is really good. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Holy moly. And then we got the portal staff, which I love the portal staff, by the way. Um, we got, obviously, the portal gun. We got the suspicious looking tentacle, which apparently we're not using right now. We got all these guys situated. Um, we also got the Moonlord mask. Heck yeah. Let's pop that on. Amazing. It looks pretty sick with the, uh, the Grim Reaper robe. <laughs> let me, let me show that off. Hang on. It actually looks amazing. So it's got the Grim Reaper robe and then it's got our, our Moonlord mask and it has the, the, the scythe, scythe. I, I, honestly, I always say that wrong. I have no idea how to say it properly. Were we zoomed in a little bit the whole time? I think we were. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll deposit everything. Um, and let's make the Luminite bars and see how many bars we have as well. So Luminite, let's craft you up. Oh my gosh, we barely have any bars. Holy moly, can you buy bars from this guy? Boss drop. We can buy the fragments, but we can't buy the bars. Shoot, so we're gonna have to keep, we're gonna keep on keeping on. We're gonna keep on doing this for platinum. Oh, by the way, you guys didn't see this. I was reforging our new accessories and by golly, holy moly, we spent like 14 plat on our accessories. Like, are you kidding me? Are you serious? What is wrong with you? All right, so I'm, I'm probably gonna do more farming off recording of like the, making sure that we have all the armor sets and whatnot for the um primordials and get that all situated but we are officially post moon lord i'm gonna end the episode there thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for being here for enjoying this uh let's play with me i freaking love it tomorrow or monday whenever i get this video out will be the last episode of thorium bard i mean we'll probably do it again later on as like 1.4 updates and do all that kind of stuff but i mean for now next episode is the last episode it's bonkers I think this is episode 19, so it's going to be exactly 20 episodes to get the series wrapped, wrapped up. That's pretty awesome. I think that's pretty cool. Get 20 episodes out. Also, like, I think our Calamity play, Let's Play was like 37 or something like that. Calamity is just way longer than Thorium. But 20 episodes, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. We made some really good progress in this. So I'm going to stop ranting on. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>